Much as I said that there's hype around Gen AI, I think it's a really exciting field for for those of us that have been, you know, in or associated with computing for you know the last two decades or three decades. This is for us. It's a bit of a earth-shaking moment in terms of you know when when the internet came out. A famous journalist said like it's only as relevant as a fax machine. I don't know if it was a journalist or an economist. Let me not name them, but you know they said it's only as relevant as a fax machine. But the internet has made possible things that even in the late 90s, none of us would have even barely imagined. Right? What used to be a defense network for scientists to exchange information and to communicate asynchronously has become the place where many people live their lives. Right? So, and at the at the beginning stage of the advent of the technology, nobody would have predicted this. Um, this is how life works. Right? You, no one's, no one can predict. No one has a crystal ball. Um, and so I, I see Gen AI is very much an enabling technology that I know there's a bit of, you know, it can destroy jobs kind of conversations around it. I'd like to think of it as, you know, your job is not going to be replaced by Gen AI in, for the most part, you know, whether you're at the end of sort of a manual repetitive task or you're a software engineer, there is a risk that Gen AI can do your job better. But my view on this is, your job will be replaced by a human being that knows how to employ Gen 